can you can you talk about your hiring process like your hiring and training or retention especially as you had people for your first contract which is just epic yeah. what is it like today and can you take us through what that looks like we are unique and and i said this knowing that it is odd but we are unique in the idea that every person who applies to our company gets an interview um, because if our goal is to create job opportunities, there are people who um, have limitations, whether it is um, their previous work experience, or I, I've had a lot of people on the team who they haven't worked for 10 years. Um, mm. It's just an interesting it's interesting who is attracted to Glean. So initially, my thought process was really parents, people who need supplemental income, but the more we grew, the more it was retirees or people who are preparing mm. for retirement. And it was people who um, had multiple children and now because virtual school is happening, they need flexible scheduling. So it's just morphed into something else. But I would say our, our hiring practice is really people come onto our website they apply, they schedule their own interview, and every other Saturday we do phone interviews and then we move them into a second interview. And there is an awesome lady I would love to shout out, um, Pam Washington, um, who yeah. is phenomenal at teaching how to weed out folks who are looking for quick money and aren't going to yeah. really stay with the company versus how to kind of make sure that people are able to follow basic prompts so that once you get them on the team, you know that they can follow instructions going forward. So I, I use her model. I teach my staff to kind of use that model as well. That's awesome. Yeah, I know Pam, lovely, lovely person. She's been so successful and helped so many other people be successful yeah. in this industry. Um, so that's interesting. I've never heard of anybody interviewing everybody who applies, but also there's something that you said is that in the process, they're actually scheduling the interview. So that's a commitment. They're actually making commitments. So just instead of going online, click, 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 applying to everything, they have to be thoughtful in their approach, picking a time with you. That might weed out a lot of people right off that step. I will say that they, they also weed themselves up because it's, it's also an issue of time management. They pick a time that works for them that that is within the window that we provide. And I would say probably 30% don't show up to the phone interview. Yeah, that's amazing. So when I, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm really impressed by that. Um, when we were hiring and building our team, you know, we went from one city to a second to a third and we, we found something that worked in the first, we kind of pulled it through. And that was, we would invite people. We, so we go through everything and we pretty much invite everybody to an in-person. And so it would be a team. So that way there, because again, we knew a high percentage would not show up. And so the first meeting was really selling the concept of what we do, why we're different, um, learning about them. And we usually have someone who was a, a full-time cleaner with us who had been with us for a number. And so they'd get a chance to talk to not just myself, but with them. And we kind of created that. And what we found was, well, it's okay if, if we invite 10 people and three show up. Yeah, maybe all three are amazing, and we we yeah. had good success with that. But it was a big lift of bringing in our cleaner and you know our cleaners and different things like that. I yeah. love the concept of letting them pick and select the time. Um, I wish that that was like um, a eureka moment, but honestly, it was because I didn't have the time to schedule each person, and I was like, yeah. if they, <laughs> we have more than enough technology for people to schedule themselves, and then over time, when people started asking me about my process, I was like. Yeah, if, if you want to apply, because we also work with agencies like social services or other places. And so if I tell them, hey, we are a place to create opportunities, but then I don't interview the folks that they send, then I felt like it was kind of not being yeah, true. Totally.